Hi girls and boys, it's art time. Today we're gonna to start with making a craft for Mother's Day. I like to do tea theme for Mother's Day and so I have a teapot and a teacup that I cut out. You can get any of these online free just by clicking free clip art and write tea set. And you'll get, you'll get one no problem. I also have a doily. This is the fancy paper you put down for tea parties or cakes. And we're gonna put our art projects on these afterwards. So I'm gonna put this on the ground for now. And I'm gonna use, um, you can use tissue paper or crepe paper. I used crepe paper for mine. You pour a little glue in, you pour a little water in, mix it together, just like that. And then you paint your teapot. And then put the tissue paper on top. And you can do different colors, the same color. You can make a pattern, it's however you like to do it. But I make sure, now I at home, I would do this first and then cut it out. I just didn't want to take all that time on, on the video. But um, it usually works out better if you uh, do this on the, the whole sheet of paper, have them put the crepe paper on and then cut it out. Um, I was just trying to save some time this way. But it usually, uh, it's easier to, for the kids and it's easier to cut and cut the mistakes out. So it works nice. I'm trying to change up the colors. Like this, for example, mine's going over and later I can just cut off the extra yellow. Um, so it doesn't matter if you go over the print, you just cut those off and you won't even know. Now I like to also do the mixture on top so everything stays really nice and flat and looks together. So afterwards I paint it again with the glue and water. Really make sure everything is nice and smooth and gone together. Nothing's lifting up in the air. And it can show the overlap a little bit better when you do this, the overlap of the colors. So there's my teapot. You're gonna do the same thing for the teacup. Now, and then you put those on. And like I said, if it goes over, you can, that's okay. You can just cut it off at the end. Cut it, but wait for it to dry completely before you try to cut it. That's the only thing you need to do. And like I said, I'd like to do it on top. I think it makes it look better that way. Now, if you don't have crepe paper at home or tissue paper, either one works to do this project, um, you can use watercolors. That's why I pulled the watercolors out. Um, the watercolors make it look just as pretty. And so, like I said, if you don't have the tissue paper, you can use watercolors. Then, I would glue this on, but I'm not gonna glue it on right now because it's still wet, but you can get the idea. I glue that on and my teapot on. On the doil, um, let's put it up a little bit like it's pouring in. There we go. And then, at the top, You can write happy. Your parents might have to help you with this part or they can write it down for you and you can copy it. Happy. Mother's Day. And then there's your project. And 
I'm sure your mom would love it. See you next time.